I am a parent just like you. I just have a different set of challenges. I have spinal muscular atrophy. I was diagnosed when I was three years old. Well, so I can tell myself all day long, you know, pick up your leg and move it over here, but there, there's that miscommunication from the spine to the brain. And so um, that's where the atrophy of the muscles comes in because you're not able to move them like you would want to. Like, It is challenging with the children. I mean, they know what my limitations are and sometimes they push the limits. But it was harder, I think, as they were infants, um, just because it was more challenging, like I couldn't get them off the floor. Um, but I will say children are very resilient. And um, I would, even at six months, my kids would come to the bottom of the chair where my foot plates are and they crawled up. Um, it's not always easy. The crib was an issue. When Owen was first born, I didn't know how am I gonna get a baby out of the crib? Like, what, I can't reach down in there and pull him out. So my husband built a crib, added doors to it and raised it up and so I can roll right under and then you know that I'm able to lift the child out. So I've never been able to take my children by myself somewhere um, because I don't drive. Um, a wheelchair accessible van, I'm not sure, you know, if a lot of people know just how expensive they are. Just one without any kind of modifications, just a ramp to get into the van is about forty to $60,000, just depending on the type of van you get. So that's been a huge um, hindrance for me. Uh, Okay, I'm guessing that the slide is wet. If they are at a playground, um, I can't just, and then one of them gets hurt, I can't just run over there and grab them. I have to, it's kind of a very helpless feeling to see your child hurt and not be able to run to them and get them right away or, and to have to have somebody to bring them to you. Um, that's, that's kind of a, a difficult thing sometimes. Um, I do think maybe that there's some judgment because I think too, a lot of it comes from people just not understanding. They don't know what my situation is, whether that because they haven't asked or um, a lot of people just assume that maybe I'm in a chair because I had a car wreck or something. They don't understand that it's, it's this has you know, been my life for a long time. The question that I typically get is, well, if you know that it's genetic, then you know, that poses a risk for your children. So are your children at risk for that? So that can be a little bit um, unsettling or upsetting to feel like sometimes people might look at you like that. Like, why would you even bring children into the world if you knew? And you know, I had a dream long ago to be a mom when I was a kid, just like if, I'm sure thousands of other women even with the challenges to be a mom is, is super fulfilling and a blessing and everything that I ever wanted. Lucy? I know most three-year-olds think they can do everything, but um, she generally can do a lot of stuff on her own and he, he is able to as well. Um, he can do a load of laundry. He can stick clothes in the, in the washer and dryer. He knows that it's important um, to help me. As they're getting older, they're more mobile, they're a little more independent, they're able to be kind of self-sufficient, but they still need supervision, of course. Um, yeah, it was scary and it was hard, but ultimately we've had, I mean, we have two children who are healthy and great and they are thriving. You know, for a lot of years, I didn't know if I was going to have kids. You know, we don't know what that's going to look like. And we put it off for a long time. But um, I'm so grateful that God allowed me to be their mom. So. <laughs>